And now it's time for Conservation Station. Let's see exactly where some of our hunting money goes and how it helps both the wildlife and their habitat. All right, everybody, we're here today at the Albany Pine Bush Preserve in Albany, New York, the capital of the Empire State, at one of the most unique conservation preserves I've ever seen. Okay, Joel, can you tell me how long you've worked at the Albany Pine Bush Preserve? Yeah, I've been here uh, for about 17 years now and uh, started working with the commission in 1994. Uh, the commission was actually started in 1988, and it's an uh, uh, organization that was put together by an act of the state legislature of New York State. We opened the Discovery Center um, on Route 155, New Carner Road, uh, about four years ago. And we have a whole education staff, and they actually are involved with thousands and thousands of, of students, people from every age, from little ones all the way to adults. There's programs of every kind available for them. Uh, and people can come and learn about this place because even though we're right in the middle of a very suburban urban area, a lot of people don't even know we exist. You can see this is Route 155. Here's the New York State Thruway. Right, this right down the middle. Yeah, so it basically effectively chops it right in half. So I, I almost think of it as like four little preserves, you know? Kind yeah. Of, but yeah. I mean, obviously 155 is less of a barrier than the throughway is for right. wildlife movement, but. So and again, the, this is city structure over here. This is all city. You can see, gotcha, all, all the way around it. Discovery Center has really become a magnet for people to come and really find out what's here and then go out and explore the trails and really find out about the pine bush. And the other thing that really makes this unique is that we have big parabolic sand dunes that were basically formed by the wind back when the, the glacier receded from this area. There's a lot of hands-on exhibits. There's a lot of things kids can touch and feel and sort of really get, get a sense if you're going to be indoors as far as what is out there. But we always encourage everyone that once they've done the inside part, get out and get on the trails a little bit too. The key to this whole system, the ecosystem, is the fact that it is sand, which produces a special kind of plant life which supports the uh, the endangered species, is that correct? Right, and even, yeah, yeah there's, there's certainly a lot of unique and endangered species re related to a place like the pine bush. Obviously it supports common species as well, there's a whole, right. you know, the ones that you'd find in, the, in other hardwood forests and things will certainly benefit from a place like this, but yes, there are certainly insects, mammals, you know, plants and all that are more unique and special to a place like the pine bush. And I think the uh, of course, the counter butterfly is a, a beautiful little insect as far as insects go. I'm a bug freak, to be honest, but I like the butterflies. Um, they're, they're unique to this area too, right? Is this the... The corner blues? Right. So there are other places that do have them, but all of those populations are right on the edge of extinction. They're, they're, none of them are doing really well, and we're hoping with our management that we're going to change that. And right. we are slowly seeing some changes. Because the lupin has to have the sand. Right. So that's tied right to the butterfly. So this is the lupin plant that the carnivore blue butterfly feeds on. Uh, this is the seed pod, and it's kind of neat what the seeds do in that they, they actually, as the pods dry, because it's in the pea family, they're like little pods, they'll twist in the heat of, of the summer day, and then they actually eject the seeds. And they can throw them, you know, five, six feet away from the parent plant. Oh, they so right they'll out. pop right out. So if you come out here on a hot day, you actually hear them popping like popcorn, oh, you know, sort of jumping neat. around. Um, but yeah, so, so there's looping all through here. You can see quite a bit of it. Whether it's hiking or whether it's uh, mountain biking, there's horseback riding, cross-country skiing, uh, hunting, all are activities that are allowed and are really a benefit to the people who live and work in the area. All right, hunting, I like the sound of that. But obviously there is also a management aspect to it as well. Right. And that's where uh, DEC primarily gets involved because they're the ones who regulate hunting, fishing, trapping in New York State and here in the pine bush as well. So when people come here um, to do different activities, hunting is one of those activities that they enjoy. Uh, and it helps us manage the deer herd, keeping the population at a level that's acceptable as it relates to the pine barrens and the plants that are here because they do tend to overbrowse. It certainly is an activity that has a history here. It's gonna continue here. It's something that uh, DEC and the Pine Bush Commission value and that we wanna keep going long term. Well, I know for hunters, that's a good sign. Look at all the, the nuts right there in that one little tree. That's beautiful. Well, I see an, another management technique that you guys use, I think, that the, the Indians also use is burning. You do a lot of controlled burn things also. Right, and we're, we're doing it not so much for the hunting aspect of it, but we're obviously doing it to manage an area that historically would burn every 10, 15, 20 years. And that would keep the Pine Barrens as a Pine Barren. Now, how does somebody 
Um, get a hold of the Albany Pine Bush if, if they're interested in just coming. It's a walk-in type thing, or do you have a website? Uh, of course we have a website, like everybody else does these days. So yes, it's albanypinebush.org, all one word. Um, and there's all kinds of information on that site that'll help you know about the programming, or you can just come for a walk on your own, a self-guided walk on the trail system. Well, that's awesome, Joel. Again, thanks for your time. I no appreciate problem. you talking with us, and keep up the good work. Thank you. Thanks.